I mean, all in the world, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. These are not of God, but these are of the world. And so it saddens me that, that, that some people can speak and say, well, you know, it's, 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 as Christians, I don't that, that, that. You be a friend of the world as the enemy of God. There's only two places you can stand, and it's not on top of the fence. There's only one or two places you can be. Got to check God's track record, Hebrews 13, 5. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Everybody in here needs to look back and recount the times in your life where God has ever forsook you, and I can help you with that. It's zero. God has never forsaken us, never will. Got to recount his track record just like David did. Then we've got to put on the armor. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, the armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. That's just some of it. But put on the whole armor of God. The sword of the Spirit, which is the, uh, the shield of faith, which is the sword of the Spirit. Prayers and supplications. Um, putting on the whole armor of God, we've got to do that. That's what David did. That's what David, that, that was David's game plan. What is our game plan to achieve the goal? Identify Goliath. Seek God's advice, not the world. Don't look to the world to, to help you get to heaven. Please, don't, don't, don't think the world is going. We can't hardly watch TV now. We can't. I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm about 85 percent leaning toward just canceling my cable. It's just, there's not one show. But, you know, it's, it's because, because, you know, when I hear Christians, and it's not, I'm telling you, members of the church, it's sad to me. Well, you're not a homosexual. It doesn't affect you. That's their life. Yeah, but now it's been made a law of the land, which means for those of you who have children in public schools, it will be written into the curriculum. For those of you who on your kids' TV show, the parents are now going to be shown as, you got to understand that, it's going to hit Nickelodeon. It's going to hit Disney because it's a law now. And so don't say it won't affect me. It, it is going to affect you. And so, we got to, can't take, the world's not going to get you to heaven. Don't ever think that. Can't be the world's friend. Must check on God, check God's track record, put on the whole armor. And then we've got to act based on trust in God. We've got to act based on trust in God. Faith is not blind. Faith is based on evidence. Hebrews 11, Hebrews 11. Faith is some things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Faith is not a blind we're just kind of feeling our way through. Well, you know, I, just, I tried everything else. I guess I'll try God. That's, that's not faith. Faith is based on evidence. And you know what that evidence is? The empty tomb. That's the evidence. The empty tomb. The tomb is empty. It's empty. It's empty a little, a little over 2,000 years ago. Still empty today. It'll still be empty tomorrow. That's the evidence. That's what, that's what Peter preached in Acts 2. David's sepulcher is still here. We can walk you right up to his bones. Christ is empty. That's the evidence. Conclusion. David could gain a position as a king of Israel, but he had to go through Goliath. David was able to defeat, to defeat Goliath with a game plan based on the statement of God and his desire to please him. There is much at stake when discussing spiritual rewards. And while trying to obtain heaven, there are going to be some obstacles, but through faithful obedience, we can achieve the goal. Revelation 2.10. Thank you so much for allowing me to be with you this evening. The lesson is...